Have you been wanting to create an intro for your videos? You've started your adventure. Now you have a story to tell. But how? This is your show, RV Media Creators. I'm Garrett, and in this community, we will show you how. So let's show the world your story. Today, I'm going to show you how. We are back at the computer, and I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks to help you create a fantastic intro for your channel. Now, there's a lot of stylistic and personal taste that comes into making a intro. There are a few key factors you want to consider before you decide to make an intro. One being, do not make it very long. It needs to be maybe 10, eight to 10 seconds long. You're gonna have to be able to pack a lot of information into a very tiny space. Next, finding music that fits your style. I'm gonna be doing an intro for our friends Grassroots Living. Go check them out. They have a great channel. They do a lot of work camping and they just go all over. It's an amazing channel. I'm going to be helping them make an intro. It's going to be a lot of fun. They've sent me the ideas that they want. They've sent me a whole bunch of pictures and some videos. I'm really excited to see how this will turn out. Let's go ahead and jump into the computer and we will see how to put this all together. I went ahead and added a base. I have about 10 seconds of clips. And I'm gonna use this as my baseline video. And I'm gonna add a whole bunch of different layers on top of this. You'll notice that it's nice and slow. Slow-mo and dramatic footage work really well for intros. If you can get footage that's 60 frames or 120 frames a second and use that for your intro, fantastic. That'll help you out a ton. I wanna make sure I have a good look for my base before I start adding new layers onto it. Now keep in mind, I am using Final Cut Pro. The tips I'm going to give you are not necessarily Final Cut Pro exclusive. I'm going to try and keep to manual fades, keeping pictures coming in and out really smoothly and I'll show you how to do that. But I also want to show you that you can find certain things that are going to help you with making your own intro. Now, I, I like how this is. It's some great footage that they sent me. However, that's not the primary focus. There's going to be a lot of things going on above and in front of this image. So I want to make it so that it, it kind of fades a little bit into the background. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a blur effect. We're going to play around with some blurs and see which one might look best. One thing I like about Final Cut is you can kind of preview by running your cursor over an item. The zoom doesn't, I don't think it works well. The radial just makes you go sick. The Gaussian is just a regular blur focus. So we have directional focus, prism. Prism is actually kind of cool. It offsets the colors a little bit, makes that 3D kind of look. Keep that in mind if you have a little special effect you want to throw on later. I'm going to pull in my focus because that allows me to blur out the sides but kind of make a little focal point in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and put that in on my two clips. You'll notice that now I have this blurred out kind of background to work with. I'm gonna check my music. One thing when you're making an intro, you want to do your music and your pictures and videos and everything that you're gonna put into your intro together. So you wanna have your idea of a song that you want to use first and you want to build it off of the music. You want it to go with the music, with the beat of the music or however that works for you. You don't want to just throw music and then throw pictures in there and be like, I got an intro. I want to try and make it so that it works with the music and it flows with the music. I have two clips that I really like and I'm going to test them out and see how they work with this clip. Let's look at the second new song. Those are two 
fairly different types of songs. You can kind of play with one, see how it works. If you don't like it, switch over to another song. Have a couple different options available as you're trying to put it together so that you're not just stuck. Oh, I have one song and it doesn't work. That's kind of what I'm saying. Give yourself options, give yourself more than what you need, and then you should be good. I'm going to use the, the Sunny song. I will add that in. The other thing you want to keep in mind is you're only using about 10 seconds of the song. If you have this whole bin bunch of song, you might have a whole bunch you're not going to use. You could maybe find another section of the song that would work. There's a type of music that you might want to consider called a sting, S-T-I-N-G. That is a three to 10 second, maybe sometime 15, 20 second long music clip that is like da 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 or however it works. I'll show you some stings that I have that I use every once in a while. That is 14 seconds long. that is even shorter. YouTube library has a huge amount of these stings. I suggest if you want a really quick way to make a good intro, find a sting that you really like and download and use that. Back to what I was working on here. These are the songs that Gratitude's Living selected. I suggest you find music that you really like that works well for your channel and see if you can find a shortened version. That's my tip for selecting music. Back to our timeline. We'll play it and see how it sounds. I think I might add a couple seconds onto the end of this so that it kind of can be 10 seconds and then fades out. Go back to 10 seconds. I'm going to take this video clip and I'm going to fade it out. If your video editor program does not have a way to manually fade out a clip, there is probably a transition that you can throw onto the end and that will help fade it out. Now I have a 12 second clip and it fades out. I like to hit the intro hard up front. I mean, you could do it where you fade it up out of black or whatnot. I like to hit it hard out of the beginning so that it grabs your attention. Make that just a little bit shorter so that it... So now, when you play it right from the beginning... Next, I'm going to add a transition between these two clips. I'm going to keep it as simple, cross dissolve. You don't want a whole lot of craziness in the background. And that's why I'm not using some fancy fade in, fade out, super spinny transition. I'm just going to use a simple crossfade. And then that allows about, do about half a second. See how that looks. There we go. Now when you look at the transition, it's a nice simple crossfade and you're not going to have to deal with anything else. Now that we have our bass down, I'm gonna make a quick addition change here. Focus that right there. Let's see if there's a better spot I can focus this at. Right. There we go. Now it's time to start adding the next layer. There's a couple different ways to do this and honestly, play around with it. Find something that works for you. For Diary of a Family's intro, I did pretty much just straight shots and I did hard cuts. That's a pretty easy way to do it. For RV Media Creators, I did just a little bit different as you saw earlier in this video. It really, really and truly depends on how your channel is. If you have a simple travel channel that you just document what you're seeing, you're not gonna want a whole bunch of flashy intro and cool graphics and all this other stuff. You want something simple, to the point, but also gets the viewer's attention. Now that's done, let's see how that looks. And then fade 
turns out. If you are following along with how I'm creating an intro, leave the whole music clip on there if you are going to use a music clip other than a sting. And I'll show you why in just a little bit. Let's get our first picture in here. I'm gonna look through some of the pictures they sent me. That is a video clip. There's a picture. And they told me that this is the picture they kind of want to end their montage with. I'm going to take that and I'll just add that in here because I know that that's something that they're going to want at the end. I'll pull it down. Now you can position it however you want. They're wanting a whole bunch of pictures kind of coming in and fading in and out. There's going to be a lot of smaller pictures and a lot of fading in and out. I'm going to go ahead and get all this editing done and I will show you what I did after this quick time lapse. What I'm doing is basically the same thing on each picture. I am sizing each picture down, placing them where I want them to be, and then I am lengthening them to a good length. You don't want it too long or too short because the picture will either just zip in, zip out, and you'll not be able to enjoy it. Next, what I'm going to do is figure out how I want my pictures to move. I like all my pictures to move on my photos. So I will start at my zoom or my scale at about 40 to 50% and move it up about eight to 10%. That way the picture is moving. The next thing I'll do is I will add a fade in and fade out on both ends of my clip. When you look at the clip, once it's done, you'll see the pictures fading in, moving closer, and it kind of becomes a flying montage. That's the effect that Grassroots Living wanted, and that's something that worked out really well for their style. me show you what I have done. So what I'm going to do is see how this works, send it off to them, see how they like it. And if it works for them, I'm going to send it to them. And if I need to make some tweaks or changes, I will do that. But I'll show you what I have created now. And then this will give you a good idea of how a good intro is made. This is what I created. Honestly, do whatever you want, but find something that is you. What do you think? Do you like it? No? Leave it in the comments. Let me know what you thought. Now, I wanted to show you why I decided to keep this end of the clip. I'm gonna zoom out just a snow scotch. And the clip itself is about two minutes long, which is pretty short for a music clip. And you'll notice I've only used this front half. The reason I did that is so that they could actually take the music from the intro and fade it into their video. It gives you the option of kind of trimming the music wherever you want to fade it out so that it seamlessly continues your video. What I'm going to do, and there's multiple ways of how to do this. This is just how you do it on Final Cut. You'll take your, you, you put what is called a placeholder in. All right, got my placeholder. Let me zoom out just a tad. Here's what I'll do. I'll bring this in so that I have a little bit. And you'll notice that I go to a black portion and then I put this in here. What this kind of forces you to do is I'll put this on put this on the whole song. 
just so that they have the option of cutting it out whenever they want to. There we go. So now they have a two minute and 19 second clip that has the intro in it. And then it fades out and then there is a gap here. What the gap allows you to do is to cut the clip when it's rendered out and seamlessly put it underneath the next clip in your video. That way you won't be seeing this little placeholder at all. But what you will have is you will have about half a second here to cut the video and move it underneath so that your audio will fade out. And one thing I will do is I'm going to drop the audio just about half a second in, put a waypoint, drop the audio so that by the time it comes to the placeholder, it's already faded down. Bring it down to a good... That way, when they put another clip in to continue their adventure or their story, or when you continue your story, the music can continue on. And then you can fade it out or do whatever you want after that point. I'll make a few versions for Grassroots Living. One that will be this full length so they can add the entire song in. One will be pretty much just the clip and about a couple seconds after so that they can just fade out and then I'm going to do a, a third version for them that'll have some dialogue at the beginning of the song for them. That's what I'm going to do. Check out Grassroots Living for their final version of their intro. Tell me what you think. Tell them that RV Media Creator sent you over there to check out their channel. I hope this video was helpful. I'm going to do a, another video on how to make an intro on your mobile phone. I am going to play around with a few different editors and come up with a cool intro that you can use on your phone. So stay tuned for next week as I delve into how to do kind of what you saw here on a mobile phone. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember, I'm Garrett and I want to help you tell your story. Bye.